Flashing casino lights and marquees aren't the only things catching people's attention on the Las Vegas Strip. So are these mobile billboards and county commissioners are considering more regulations for them following some concerns about safety and traffic. Ryan Matthey joins us live with what is being proposed. Yeah, Brian, when Clark County first started regulating these billboards in 2020, they said a hard cap 100 allowed to operate here in Clark County. Ever since they've been coming up and down the Las Vegas Strip, you just missed a giant horde pass us by a few minutes ago, but the bright lights, they're not distracting from concerns that they cause too much traffic and safety problems. I don't know where we go from here. Mike Folland owns Flow Advertising, one of just 12 businesses awarded licenses to operate mobile billboards in Clark County. I have three, but two of them I can't put on the road because I don't have details for them. But his license got him just one decal in 2020, meaning one billboard on the road. And ever since the application window closed, no new decals have been given. They're not allowing competition into the market. Even the people who are already in the market, they're not allowing them to explain their feet to kind of to be in the market. The only new information in the study from Kimley Horn is that we need to do another study. It's just one dilemma brought to county commissioners on Tuesday. They looked at a 2022 study that evaluated 2.6 miles of strip traffic from Tropicana to Elvis Presley. In it, finding mobile billboards travel up to 15 miles per hour slower than other cars, are five times brighter than the ambience lighting on the strip, and contribute to an already poor area level of service. Clark County Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick. These have no business on the strip. I didn't like them before. I don't like them now, but it seems like we're we're stuck with them, so how can we figure out it's the safest way to go? Now, the county's drafting new rules, including how to award the remaining 14 decals that have been surrendered in the past two years. But what that will look like, how bright the lights can be, if sound will be permitted, and so forth, remains to be written. But Public Works did give some recommendations. They involve spacing out these billboards, outlining a preset path for them to drive, and doing a whole new study about how bright the lights on these mobile billboards can safely be here on the Strip. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Strip, Ryan Matthey, A News Now. Ryan, thank you. The county confirming it first awarded 12 businesses collectively. That's about 100 decals. Now only five businesses are active and just one of those owns the majority of all the decals awarded.